What's going on guys, Spencer Clays here and today we are cleaning a roof and gutters for 1300 bucks, getting rid of all the moss, soft washing and do gutters. This is my guy Ben here. Ben, what's going on? Nothing really, just cleaning the roof. Sweet man, let's get to it. All right guys, we got a real treat for you today. We got a full roof clean and soft wash, 1300 bucks or you know, with tax $1,400. This was a very solid job. You know, we did this for an insurance agency, super big roof. It took us, you know, about five hours. So 10 total man hours. And you know, if you guys haven't seen a roof clean before this, you can see there's a ton of moss. So we're brushing it all off. We're gonna be chemically treating it later, but most of the work is just getting the moss removed. My favorite method always includes using a gentle nylon brush or the stick method as shown here. I'm going to kind of walk you guys through that in a second, but we just want to get the bulk of it off. I often tell customers our goal is to just get 90% of everything off because the chemicals are going to do the rest of the work. So, you know, however you need to get up there and do it, obviously be safe. This roof was not very steep and it was in good condition. So, you know, we're just using the gentle stick, getting it out between the cracks, brushing off the rest later, and we're going to blow everything off and it's going to look good. So right here, we're just using the stick to just gently just like kind of like pry the moss away. We don't want to be super invasive because the chemical is going to do most of the work. We want to get like 90% of this bulk moss off that just kind of falls off, but we don't want to do anything too crazy. So the stick method is honestly one of my favorite. I'm going to show you guys real quick. We just kind of come in here, almost like surgically slicing the moss away. And then Ben's gonna come in behind me and just gently brush it off. And that's how it's done. We're gonna go over the whole roof, get rid of all the big bulk, bulky bits of moss. Then we're gonna treat it. It's gonna be looking right as rain. All right, so Ben, this is actually an insurance agency's office. Like, what are some reasons that people typically get moss cleaned off the roof? So, I was talking to my customer here. They're an insurance agent, and they are having us clean off their moss because they do not sell homeowner's insurance to uh, people whose houses are covered in moss. It's a reason uh, that insurers won't insure you because moss-related water damage is, like, one of their biggest areas of claims, which means this... Uh, Insurance agency doesn't want to insure customers with a lot of moss because they know they're at very high risk of having water damage in their roof. All right, so now it is time to start soft washing. We got our 12 volt battery with a 5.5 gallon per minute pump. We're filling it up with just normal water. And we got bleach right here. We got a couple different things. This is just bleach, but this is 30 second, which is also bleach. It's a little bit more expensive, but they didn't have anything at the store and we didn't have time to go to the chemical supplier. So we're gonna add some surfactant real quick. This could just be anything. I like to use the OxyClean blue stuff because I don't know, it smells good. Mostly we just want bubbles, you know, that's really the main thing that a surfactant does. It doesn't really do anything fancy, but then we're going to add the bleach and get this up to, you know, we want about five gallons of bleach for the, the amount of water in there. We'll kind of measure it out later. Careful using this stuff. This stuff isn't that strong though, it's only 5%. So 
So the biggest question that I always get is how much bleach to put in the sawfoss mixture. And the answer is however much you need to make it work. I've just been testing with the mixture a little bit, make sure getting the bubbles right, with the adding more surfactant, adding more bleach. You can smell it and you can also start to see the yellow, like the bleach starting to turn yellow. So literally it just, it just kind of play with it, add more bleach if it's not dying yet, add more soap if it's not bubbling and you're gonna be good to go. Soft washing is definitely not something to overcomplicate. We're literally just spraying bleach, water, and soap on the roof to kill it. As you know, if you, if you add bleach to anything green, it's gonna die, it kills anything organic. So that's our main goal. As you can see, already the left-hand side is starting to turn yellow and white versus the other side, which you can still see there's like black spots, which is also this form of gliocapsid magma, which is also this form of bacteria and algae that grows. So we wanna kill all that. Additionally too, black mold can also start to grow in your roof and get into your attic, so not good. So getting your roof cleaned, soft-washed, and treated regularly is a huge part of keeping your home safe, clean, and dry. As you guys can see, this is the side that hasn't been sprayed, you know, the moss is still green. Over here, you can start to see it's already turning. It's a lot wider. I mean, look at that. You can literally see, not sprayed, sprayed. It's already starting to turn a bit yellow. My, it's a little cold out, so it's not, the bleach doesn't work as well, but definitely starting to die. We're gonna spray it, hit it some more, add some powder, call it good. And that is pretty much all she wrote. Roof is clean, looks beautiful, looks almost fucking brand new. The client was super happy. All we gotta do is do some basic cleanup. You know, make sure the place looks better when you leave than when you got there. That is a basic rule. For some reason, people overlook this or I'll forget to post the cleanup and people are like, oh, so you make it, made a mess. Like, no, we make sure all of our customers are happy. We have nothing but five stars for a reason. So that is pretty much it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Peace.